Bandwidth for this podcast is brought to you by CashFly at C-A-C-H-E-F-L-Y dot com. Hey, everybody. Welcome back to MacBreak Studio. I'm Mark. This is Steve, and we're going to talk a little bit about the very cool multicam functionality in Final Cut Pro 10, right, that, that anybody can, can use. And I, and I mean anybody. Yeah, anybody. It's true. You, you got any device that shoots video, you can use a couple of them and, and create something, right? Yeah, as a matter of fact, you know, my kids are really into YouTube. And yeah. uh, they just love making music video, like watching all these, you know, channels with these kids that are, you know, having two million views for just doing silly stuff. Right. And the fact of the matter is, all these kids have iPhones and iPads. Yeah. And with these devices, they can go out and they can make a music video very, very Just like quickly. that. Right. Just like that. Right. In fact, what I'm about to show you is a music video that my daughter and her friend Zion did, and they just used a couple of iPads and an iPhone. 20 minutes to shoot, 15 minutes to edit. Done. Even faster to edit. Oh my gosh, yeah. even faster yeah. to edit. So this is this is actually a pretty darn cool workflow, and I wanted to share it with you. I we actually showed this at NAB, and all the all of the uh, old arts in the <laughs> audience were like, "Wow, that's really cool." You well, know. it's just so it's so uh -huh. easy now, and literally, if you're somewhere and even in a spontaneous event, yeah. you've got a couple people with phones. Yep. They can whip them out, they can shoot, and then Final Cut makes it so easy to so, just sync everything together, yeah. right? So let's let's just so, see how it works. So first of all, um, here we are. Um, I'll just go to I'll, I'll skim through this. So here's here's one of the angles. This is my angle. I got my iPad here. You can see. And then so, so there's two iPhones being used here and an iPad. No, or? Uh, yeah, uh, two iPads. So there's. Okay my iPad on this side, and then uh, Travis's iPad is my editor on this side, and then iPhone on a tripod in the center for the main camera. Okay. So two iPads so, and iPhones. So three angles. Three angles. Okay. And now if you'll notice, the audio from these different angles is horrible, so I'll just play a little bit of this. And, and it's not by me. It's you can kind of hear the wind noise, and it's, it's just, we needed, here's the key, you need to actually have record you, reference You track. need to reference audio, so right. you've got to have audio in there. Yeah, that's important. Now the key to make this like, more professional is yeah. uh, Zion, the kid on the in the right side of the frame. He actually went into Apple's Logic and actually recorded uh, the song. He okay. actually recorded Katie in our, in our little studio, in our home studio. And if you, if I just play a little bit of this, he added a little. It's got a click track at the beginning to be able to know when to, to time into the whole thing. Okay. Much cleaner now. So what okay. they're going to do is we brought a little uh, playback device on the location and we played back and they essentially did listen to it. Okay. So you don't have to do that though. You could be at a live event and multiple people shoot it, but the audio is going to be what the audio is. Exactly. Okay. So but this is a nice this way of getting really nice clean way, audio. Yeah, real clean audio. Okay. So um, simply put, we're just going to go ahead and uh, I'm just going to select all these angles. Actually, I want to. I want to make sure. Clear that out. Right? Option, option X. Option X. And it's going to wait to just mark key. All yeah, these. you mark key. There we go. There go. So they're all selected. Okay. Now what we want to do is three camera angles and one audio. Three camera Got angles, it. one audio. Okay. So control click, mm -hmm. and we're going to go down here and we're going to choose new multicam clip. Yep. So just like that. And by the way, normally uh, it will come up like use automatic settings, and this isn't the default with all this gobbledygook here. You don't even need any of that. That stuff can be important. Can be important. But most of the time, especially if you're using iPhones and iPads. Right. Where, where Final Cut Pro 10 recognized those as separate devices, so right. you don't need to name them or anything. It just gets it. it just gets so, it. So, but that's important, right? That checkbox. Yes. Use audio for synchronization. So synchronization. So Final Cut Pro. Well, will what's look, that word again? Synchronization. <laughs> <laughs> uh, anyway, sorry. Final Cut will use all the audio and then try to match them all up. Yes. And it does a grand job yeah. at it as well. As long as you've got some decent reference audio and you've got a great track to sync to. Right. Um, so you just, you're going to give it a name here. Kate and Zion Upside. This is a song they're um, singing um, by Jack Johnson. Jack Johnson. Yeah. So we'll go ahead and click OK. And it's going to take just, you know, a few seconds. And it's going, the algorithm's going through. and Because it's, it's analyzing. It's trying to figure out how to sync all these angles together, which used to be a more complicated process. You know, you need some uh, marker, some yep. way of, of having them sync, but this is doing it automatically. Right. So, so now what? So now I want to check sync. That's the next okay. thing. So, so it, created, it created a oh, new multi-cam cam clip. clip. And you okay. can tell here, uh, it looks like little window panes, like yes. four window panes, which are really like representative angles. Okay. So um, you can see I have another one I did earlier, but we're going to use this one because that's the one I just did. Okay. And we're going to go to the um, window menu and we're going to choose viewer display show angles. Okay. Uh, Shift command seven. And what that'll do is bring the angle viewer up so I can actually see all my angles and check sync. I see. So this is all the different angles and the audio. So right. you've set it up to see four of them. And you could do more, right? You can do up to 64. 
Wow, so you could have 64, 64 cameras. IPhones. So you could be like at some big event with 64 iPhones and then sync them all together yeah. and have this amazing, and then cut between them. That's right. Wow. 64. So if I play this, you can see it's pretty much, you can see it's pretty much in sync. But, but what are we hearing though? Okay, we're, what we're right, hearing, right? Good question. What we're hearing is the active angle. See how this yellow box is yeah. showing us? That's the active angle. In other words, active whatever. For, for audio or video or both? Both right now. Okay. And the reason we know it's both when it's yellow, whenever you oh, switch. Oh, and also the symbol, little icon is both video and audio video on and it. Audio. Okay, so of course that's in sync because it's just the audio that went with that video clip, right? Yeah, but um, to extend what you're saying, whenever you click to change the active angle, it changes what's in the viewer. Okay. So I click on this angle, there's Travis's camera. Okay, there's my iPad, there's um, there's the iPhone, I don't know. Anyway, there, there they are. And so, point is, I don't really want to cut and have it switch to the lousy, you know, on-camera audio. I want to use the clean track that Zion recorded using Apple's Logic. Okay. And so, what I'll do here is I'll is I'll select, okay, I want to select this camera, this this This, this angle, clean, that's, this that's angle. a clean audio. It's a okay. clean production track. Mm -hmm. And then I'm going to use this button up here. I know that I do this slightly different than you, Mark, but I'll say yeah. enable video only switching. Okay. So, when I select this, I'm now able to select each camera. Notice I select each uh, video angle. Notice the audio angle yeah. stays green. It stays And fixed. now you can check sync, because now if you play, it's going to play that audio and that video. All right, now let's find that out. Let's, let's see if find it's out to be true. Okay. Seems to match is great. And then you could switch to other angles, and it would keep the audio always on the production yep. one, and you could see if each angle is the same. Seems great. It works great. Yeah. So the, the thing is, it's just, just a, a marvelous job. So what we're going to do is, uh, let's say I want to start with, uh, let's say, this angle. So I tend to pick the angle I want to start with. Uh -huh. And now what we need to do is create a, a, um, project. a project to put it into. So I'm going to go ahead and create a new project. I'm going to call this upside, um, upside down. And I've noticed I've got it associated with upside down event. Yep. Click OK. There's my new timeline. I'm going to go ahead. Now, the thing that's beautiful about multicam clip is that you can treat it like any other clip. So you can cut out the portions you don't want. Right, because like, you don't want all that no. stuff to be in right. So back, back it up a little bit. Right there. Mark in. And I got a little bit of it. Okay. So point is, I can trim it before actually right. editing it. Now I'm going to press E to e. edit that into the timeline. And edit, OK. Right. Click into the timeline, press Shift Z. And now I have, you know, my entire multicam clip. So right now the multicam clip's in there, but it's just showing one angle one at angle, time. And it's the active angle. Okay. So remember, the, the uh, angle that's in the angle viewer determines what's actually what shows up. Right. Now here's the thing is, if you see this, I'm about to make a cut with a blade, but if you hold down the option key when you're in, this, when you're in the timeline mode, yes. you can then do a switch without actually making a cut if you're holding down the option key. Yep. So what I want to do is I'm going to just, just cut this on the fly. And I'm going to just use, you know, use this, uh, my mouse and make cuts. So what you're meaning while it's playing, you're just going to click on the angle that you want to, that's right. that click. you want to cut to. Yeah. Okay. So that's it. So I'm going to go down here where, so. You're going to just start from later on the song. I wanna turn the so right about, right about here, I'll probably start. I'm going to start on this angle, a little bit there. And as it's playing, I'll just make various cuts right up in here. So here we go. A city. While it's playing, you're just clicking on where you want to where That's you right. want to cut to each time. So let's take a quick look. This is how fast this. I remember, of course, I didn't do so the I can, whole thing. So I can I can I can see now that the other edit points, but you're doing it in real time. I'm like you're watching time. thing in real time, and you're switching it. Yeah, switching. Or cutting. Nice. So let me back up here and let's play a little bit. Yeah, you just cut right once you spin around. Really, really.
really fun. And, and you can see these kids, they just love this. I yeah. mean, they go up to their it's iPhones, like, boom, they're done. done. They post right, it to right. YouTube. I mean, you can go, you can share this right to YouTube now, and you're, right, you're done. You go right out. And you can, go ahead, go ahead. What you were going to say is, like, if, like, maybe you didn't have your coffee that morning, and you were a little slow, your cuts weren't right. You can, yeah, you want to fix it. It's so scarily easy. Scarily Scar easy. That's not even a word. Okay, <laughs> yeah, right? it's, it's just, <laughs> it's so easy, it's scary. Yeah, so, so like, for example, let's say I wanted to cut, she's turning here, maybe I wanted to cut Maybe a little bit later. Actually, yeah. it's turning here. Maybe I wanted. To, where is she turning? Um, it's earlier. It, maybe it's earlier. Anyway, let's say I just there wanted it, it right there. It is. So maybe I wanted to change the uh, timing here. You you don't even have to switch the t trim tool. Final Cut understands when you're in a multi camera clip yeah. that you probably want to adjust the a little, edit point. A roll edit. Right. right. So uh -huh. all you do is move your playhead, or excuse me, your your mouse pointer over the edit point, and then you can adjust. You can just adjust this. So just drag left or right, and everything sync. stays in sync. Everything and you can completely just completely in sync. And you can see the two sides right in the in the viewer. You see the left hand side, the right hand side of the cut, and move it don't to you exactly think it's freaking cool. It's great. Yeah. And so you just there you go. Turn the whole thing upside down. So easy to adjust that, I'll switching angles, any, anything like you want for, to do, like you can for example, change it. Let's, let's talk about switching angles. I, I don't, maybe I didn't like this angle, and I cut to the wrong angle. So, um, I notice I'm parked over the angle. You're right? somewhere in the middle I'm of it. somewhere that, right? in the middle of it. Of, so, that, of, that, of that clip. Yeah, I'm somewhere in the middle of that clip. Mm -hmm. Now, because this is live up here, if I... If I click right now, I do a cut, cut there. Right. I don't want it's a razor blade. You've got the razor blade on Exactly. Right. So I said earlier that if you use the option key, I could just pick another angle. I could just say, I really want to go right, let's see, let's, this angle, option. Okay. So when you hold the option key down, it turned into a finger, meaning it's just going to switch, switch instead right. of cut. There it goes. It just okay, just saw that. All it did is yeah. switch that angle out, just yeah. like that. Okay. So immediately, you can, you can change your mind after the fact about any angles, and then you can change when that angle cut happens by rolling. That's right. And those are the two things you need to do, That's pretty much, right? Those are the big things. It's fantastic. And let me stress how fast this is. I mean, my kids, they just go out with yeah. their phones or iPads, and they, they can make these music videos. And literally, within an hour, they can have a multi-camera music edit up on YouTube. Because it's you're shooting in real time, so however long the song takes, that's it. And right. then you just import the media, and you made a multicam clip in a, in a matter of a minute, and then you just cut it in real time. And I'm done. Wow, sweet, very yeah. nice. Yeah, okay. the last step would be you know over here to the share share menu. Yeah, yeah. and then just go to uh, Vimeo or YouTube. Yep. And you're uh, there. It is off to the races. Off, off to the races. Yep. Yep. Excellent. Steve, great, thank you. So if you want to learn more, we actually have a, a whole tutorial dedicated to Multicam, not just the, the quick and easy way of doing this, and then more depth if you, are, if you have to do a very professional, slated type of thing. We go into all the details of uh, everything under the hood and how to take advantage of Multicam. So RippleTraining.com for that. Steve, thank you very much, and thank you for watching MacBreak Studio.